scripture that says, Woe unto you if every man speaks good of you. Are you shocked? Yes, I'm also shocked. If everybody speaks good of you, you are a bad person. How, so what does the scripture actually want us to do? You have to be able to stand your ground. You have to be able to say no. You have to So welcome to today's episode of On the Edge with Ebere and today is Yoga Ebere and uh, today we're going to be talking about people pleasing attitudes, you know, people pleasing attitudes is a syndrome, you know, but people, a lot of people don't even know that it's a syndrome, so that's why they keep being a victim of this syndrome, in fact they are patients of this syndrome, they've been diagnosed unofficially and they don't even know. Now, I'm going to let you know how you identify that you are a people's pleaser and how to stop or in fact the dangers and then how to actually stop and this if this is what you want to watch continue watching to the end of this video i'm going to get lots of um what's it called you're going to get lots of value watching this video and if you have not subscribed to this channel make sure you hit the subscribe button like this video leave a comment and that is it so let's get into it now i'm going to let you know three ways you should identify that you are a people's pleaser people pleasing syndrome People pleasing, blah blah blah, whatever. Number one, <clears throat> you don't know how to say no. Uh, someone asks you something impromptu, you are quick to be Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You're not normal, you're not serious. You have in fact, you have inferiority complex. Let me tell you guys something. I have to admit this. There were time there, there has been a time in my life that I was a people's pleaser. In fact, I wanted everybody to love me you know i wanted everybody to know that i'm a good person i wanted everybody to just know that i am this beautiful soul you know so i try as much as possible uh, doing things that i don't want to do just because i want to please this state of people now guess what i will be doing those things i am angry that i'm doing these things and i'm still doing them you can imagine but i'm angry i'm upset that i'm doing these things and these people they come the first time when I do it for them. The second time, they demand for it as if it's like they are right. Like they have seen me finish. So they, they know I'm not going to say no. So they're going to tell me and they will not shape mouth. You know, when you want to tell some people some kind of things, you have to have to like think about it. How are they going, how they going to feel? Are you sure they're going to say yes? Are they going to agree? Now, these people throw it on me as if it's like they are right, that's number one. So, after a while, I will be grumbling while doing this thing. Even if I'm trying to be a nice person, these people are turning me into monsters. They are making me regret ever trying to say something nice to them, do something nice for them. So, that's my story. Now, until I decided on my own that I'm not going to do this, you know what? I'm going to pra I started practicing how to say no. I said practicing how to say no to people. When you tell me, oh, can you bring me 500, uh, 500k, bring me 500k, or can you bring me 50k, or 10k, I'll tell you, no, 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 I don't have. And guess what? I still feel it better. Because I, uh, now, a lot of people have come to me in a way that they, they know I was going to say yes, and I saw it disappointed in, in their face. In fact, I started enjoying the fact that I was saying no to these people. Now, at the point, it was like they were using me. They were actually using me, yes. They were bragging to their friends. They're going to brag. You know, do you know what it feels like when you are being used? When you finish being used, now the person comes, you get to hear that the person started saying things like, ah, I know she was not going to say no. She cannot say no to me. Like, are you normal? She's normal. How she, how she not saying no to me? It affected everything about me. I was battling with a lot of low self-esteem issues, and I had to deal with this thing for a long time. And people can I clearly identify that I was going through this thing and they took advantage of it. Now let me tell you something. Do you know that there's a scripture that says to them if you're, if you're always saying yes, 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 you're not even trying to be a nice, you're not in a nice person, you are just being an annoying person. So people's pleasing mentality is a very bad syndrome for 2022. It's a very bad syndrome for this decade. It's a very bad syndrome. For survival, you said you're not on the street trying to survive, hustling as an entrepreneur. You have to learn how to say 
No, because the joke is usually on you. When you finish saying yes to everybody and you still find out that you're not still a good person. So you wonder, what do they want to know? What do they really want from you? Now, the second thing I'm going to talk to you about is how do you identify that you are a people-pleasing person? When you, the second, second one, that means anytime someone wants to tell you, you, you struggle with telling people no. When someone tells you something, you like, um, okay, no problem. Okay, I don't understand. Like, why, why is there no problem? Are you not saying that I'm angry? Are you not saying I don't have? Even when you don't have, you know that people actually borrow money to give to some of their friends. Would they do that to you? Would they break their back for you? When you the way you're breaking for them. So, if you, if you identify that, it means that you have a deep rooted issue. It has to be, it comes from childhood, it comes from teenage adulthood. Me, I know where my own comes from. I know where my own inferiority came from. And I had to fight to make sure I overcome it. And today, Baby Gear has overcome this thing. So, if you have this, you have to dig deep to know what is the cause of your inferiority complex, okay? And then you deal with it. You practice. Now, to survive it, that's the third thing I'm, I said I was going to mention today is how to come out of it is a very big problem is a syndrome you have to treat it you have to take medication you have to practice these things before you can actually become a master on it now how do you overcome it overcoming it is very easy and simple the first way to overcome it is making sure that you say no even when you feel like doing it you just first say no first then the person beg then the person then the person really wants you to give you reasons you know the one that they've not even told you what they want to do with the money or they've not even told you what, what they want to do with your apartment you inconvenience yourself if you if someone wants to come and see your apartment then the person no first the person will not be ah hey you see please now they will not ship your mouth you know they will not really prove to you that they really want sometimes they just want to test you and you will fall back imagine no, it's not supposed to be so. You need to be sure that these proof and the um, reasons are genuine. They have to prove to you. If it's someone that knows you very well, they should give you a collateral. There was a person that I borrowed money from. The person is very, very close to me. Do you know what I did? Ah, when the person kept on talking, disturbing, disturbing, disturbing. You know what I did to the person? I said, hmm, my dear, I'll give you this money. You know what? But you have to bring collateral. The person was shocked. Ah, well, I leave it now. So when the person that said, ah, okay, no problem. The person actually brought this collateral, brought another collateral. But, ah, but if it was before, I'll say, okay, yeah, my friend, just take it. No. Mm -mm. These days, you have to, but the condition, the, that's what they would do to me. Do you know what I, do you know what I found out? If I was one in need, I usually don't get help. I usually don't get, I will run help, ask, everybody will be telling me, no, no, no. But if it is me, I will not feel like I want to do everything for everybody. No. I've learned that people should really, really earn whatever it is that they are going to offer for me. So that's it guys. So if you found this video educative and entertaining, make sure you let, let me know on the comment section on the, the other things you think. If you're a people pleasing person, also let me know. If you have not subscribed to this channel, also I have a, a full lecture on how to overcome depression and all of these things. So it's like coming away next time. It's a girl Ebere, Team Natural, signing out and I'll see you in my next video. Have a nice day. Mwah.